Hello, hello. Well, I'm back on my welly update really, and it's a ridiculous tale. I I haven't had much luck with my wellies, have I really? Um, you might what, remember I had the Dunlop wellies that didn't fit my foot because I've got this wonky bony bit at the top of my foot. I have this weird thing. I've got this lump on the top of my foot. It's a piece of bone. So I ditched those and gave them to my brother. Okay, so the tale goes on from that. So I got myself a pair of bikini, bikini boots, Step Light X, okay? So I thought, well, that's okay, because uh, um, they'll replace the Dunlops, because the pair I had from my brother as an exchange for the Dunlops were leaking. Got these, two cock-ups, right? Okay, firstly, I, ordered, I didn't order thermal ones. I thought I'd order thermal ones. It said thermal on the advert, but actually they're not fully thermal. They're the thermal to only minus five. So, um, and they're, they're Bikina, Bikina Step Light X. Now, if I want the proper thermal ones, I think they're XCIs. God, flipping it, they make it complicated, don't they? So these wellies here aren't thermal. And I've flipping been, feed, my feet have been cold, okay? Secondly, I've had the same problem as the Dunlops. Unbelievably, these boots here have been rubbing on my bony bit on top of my foot and they've been really painful to wear. So much so I've had to abandon them the same as the Dunlops. Now, you might think to yourself, well, part of the blame is my mine because uh, I ordered them online rather than trying them in a, in a shop. Uh, but, but these days, it isn't easy to get to a local uh, agriculture merchant because I haven't got one nearby. The countrywide store closed. The one, the other one's not that far, probably 12, 13 miles away. But actually, do you know what? I haven't got time to keep going up there every time I want to try a pair of wellies on. So I thought ordering online would be simple. Let's face it, I have been a size nine foot wise all my life. Well, nearly all my life. Um, can you believe that there is no standard size nine? I thought that pretty well it would be standard. Let's face it, my shoes seem to fit me size nine for years. All the wellies I've, up until this year, I've never had a problem wearing a size nine welly. But the Dunlop and the Bikina size nines don't fit me properly. These particularly Bikinas are really tight actually. Uh, so I think I probably need a size 10 to fit my nine, size nine foot, which, you know, what's the point in having a standard size if it's not standard? Anyway, that's probably a case of a lot of people going, well, you should have tried them on yourself. So yeah, partly my fault. Anyway, um, to cut a long story short, because because they're not thermal, I thought, do you know what? I really need a pair of thermal wellies still because it's flipping cold on my feet. Um, so I've ordered another pair of thermal wellies and I'll tell you about those in a minute. In the meantime, <clears throat> you might remember I wear lightweight wellies in the summer and screw fix ones. And uh, here they are, screw fix. This is what I've been wearing as a temporary measure because I couldn't wear those bikini ones any longer. Um, I have to say, and this is maybe for the younger members here who haven't got a lot of money to spend on wellies. If you're looking for a, well a starter wellie to wear on the farm, I'd say the screw fix, uh, they're steel toe caps, always wear the steel toe cap wellies. Do screw fix wellies for about 15 quid are good value. And what's funny is those bikini wellies came with an insole. So what I've done is I slipped that insole in them to make them a little bit warmer. I'd say um, as a starter wellie for anyone who's not doing a lot of farm work and wants to try it out, get those I'm still wearing them in the summer as lightweight wellies um, Jack Schofield sent me a picture of him wearing a pair actually a while back one of my fans and um, fair play that's what he's starting on and he's only 13 so I don't think that's a bad thing for the money um, <clears throat> anyway going back to my thermal wellies right some of you might remember I had the the Dunlop well uh, not the Dunlop the Dickies wellies let me see what were they called I try to remember what their name was the Dickies um, Landmaster Pro safety wellies, because I always go for safety wellies as well as thermal for the winter. I always think I need to wear a steel toe cap really, uh, especially working in a breast parlour, because otherwise the cow stand on your feet, break your toe. Right, so I thought I'd get myself a bit a pair of those dickies again, and guess what? Dickies have discontinued them. I, l I thought they were brilliant. I thought they were really comfortable and I thought I'd go back to those rather than... Because I, I, I'm sort of getting a bit bored of trying all these wellies. I need to find a pair that actually fit me well, you know? So I thought... And, and just be done with it now, I think. Because I know it's been interesting trying these different wellies, but do you know what? After two pairs that don't fit, I just wanted to buy a pair, at least for this winter, that fit me well. So I thought I'd order the Dickies ones again. Can't find them anywhere on the internet in size 9 with a steel toe cap. 
even on the Dickies website they're sold out. So what I've done, I am going off list to another brand again. I found a welly that looks like the Dickies that I think will probably be the same. And we'll be trying these. So they're called Buck Boots. Just remember again, I'm not being paid to promote these. I bought these myself and flipping out it's getting expensive. If there's any welly manufacturers out there who want to send me some thermal wellies, size nine with steel toe caps, I will try them. But I, I'm, at the moment, I'm hoping these are last me ages. I'm going to buy any more. Right. Um, so th these, these are buckler boots. It says buck boots. Never tried these before. I don't know what they're like. Oh, let me rip the box. I'm open, I open, these are okay. Bear with me. Oh, the box is falling apart. Right, look at that. Let me just show you the box. They, they've come apart here. They've, they, as usual, look, this always makes me laugh. User instructions for wellies. I, what does that tell you? Put them on your feet. Okay, well, anyway. Okay. Ugh. Bear with me while I'm just getting the doodads. They, they, what's this? Micro packs. Oh, we got things. Win it, be in it to win it. Sign up for mainly list, a chance to win a pair of buckler boots. Okay. Well, I ain't doing that. Right, they got loads of. Look, this is unnecessary packaging. They got. Oh, I suppose they're keeping them up, keep their shape. Well, bits of cardboard in them. I'll have a look at them in a minute, but I'll just get this out because I'm actually going to want to put them on my feet. Uh, that's just plain card. Okay. Right, got, oh, what's that? This is, now your feet can breathe. 100% stroke to air mesh lining. Ooh, that was what was on the Dunlop, so I like them because they were very comfy. I will have a look at those later. Let's get this other bit of card out. Let's get this card out. Now, you might remember on the Dickies, they're very similar. They had the in fact, you know, you do, you do wonder whether they're all made in the same factory in China. I, I'm a bit suspicious of this. All made in the same factory in China and they just put the logo on because the lining's the same as the Dickies, look. Uh, in fact, let's just, I'll just show you the Dickies in the previous, so here's, here's, what are they? Here's the buckler boots. I'll just fast, I'll just cut in the bit where I got open the Dickies. Um, they are interesting to look at. I mean, personally, I wouldn't choose a welly that had orange bits on it. An orange in the middle and also there's something I'm not quite sure about now this is going to be interesting now they've got this really nice soft bit on the side but for wearing with muck obviously the I'm a mucky bloke I'm thinking that's going to get covered in crap okay so that was a dickies well as you can see I think they're very similar look tread is like that interior like that and I, I was worried about the muck sticking to the they've just got different logos on I think really these I have to say the cheapest I could find them were 69 quid plus 5.95 delivery so 76 quid roughly I think 69.95 and, and 5.95 delivery that's the cheapest I could find them uh, which is roughly about what I paid for the dickies um, steel toe caps this is the neoprene now the the problem I had last time the neoprene split and cracked and do you know what? I've just decided to bite the bullet and take that risk because they were really comfy and warm. And if they last me a year, I was talking to someone else the other day and he said, Farmer P actually, he said, do you know what? If, if they, they're comfortable and nice, then the money's worth investing in if they only last you a year. And I think that is very true. You know, I walk around on my feet all day and to be honest, this is the problem I found when I, when I was younger, it was all about getting the cheapest well as I could find. And you realize now, actually, do you know what? I've only got one pair of feet. I spend a lot of time on them. I need to look after them. Right, so I'll be trialing these. I'm really hoping these will last me and I won't get sore feet like the others. I think maybe there's a bit more give. I think that that's a bit unforgiving, that plastic, whereas these are softer. Okay, I'm gonna put one on a minute. Bear with me, I'll just put that up there a little bit. Oh no. Can you see me? Right, so the screw fix wellers are coming off. Let's try these. Yeah. Do you know what? This is exactly why I like these. It's like putting a pair of slippers on. My feet are warm. Oh. Oh, welcome back, old friend. 
I tell you what, I am, I am convinced these are more or less exactly the same wellies as the Dickies from the factory in China, probably. Don't know where, don't know where they're made in actually. I wonder if it says on the box. I'll look on the, I'll look on the label. Hang on, bear with me. Uh, doesn't say on there. How long have we got? English. That's in French. Anyone who speaks French will probably. What are you hosing the outside of your book which can extend their life? Well, I might try that. I, I will have to reserve judgment on how comfortable they are because you know what it's like my bony feet. When I first put a pair of wellies on, they feel fine, and then a bit later, I'm like, oh, that really hurts. But um, no, do you know what? If they are as comfortable as the dick is, I will be loving these because after these sore feet of the the, the Dunlops and the oh, what's the other one called? You know the one I mean. I, I just can't face having sore feet again, um, and and the, these are lovely and cosy, or the, and the dickies were. Lovely. So, for me, this is my wellies. Hang on, we haven't done the sniff test. Oh, <laughs> it's like sniffing my wellies. Oh, different sort of smell. Oh, that's quite a nice homely smell. That's that's the buckler boots. Oh, it's like a. Comfort, it reminds me of your granny's house. Buckle of boots sniffing with granny's house smell. <laughs> That's some, talk some rubbish, don't I? Stick with me, I'll just, I'll be sniffing well instead of a hundred. Oh, they are lush, I think. Right, stay tuned, I'm gonna let up your date on those. I, the, the, these boots here, they won't get wasted. My brother Tom will either wear those or when Jack's feet are big enough, they'll be here as a spare pair of wellies for him. Um, I, I would like to try the. There's Nora brought out some insulated wellies actually, which I, I quite like. Nora's. Um, my dad used to wear them, and they brought some insulated steel toe cups out. So if anyone from Nora's watching, please send me a pair. Otherwise, I'll have to um, maybe think about buying some. But I'm I'm worried about trying anything on. I need to. I think in future I need to try them before I buy them. Because mail order is kind of definitely those Dunlops and those. Oh, I keep forgetting. No, Burkina wellies the nine didn't fit my feet at all who knew that size nine could be so variable anyway onwards and upwards see you guys soon bear with me i'm sorry i've i've been mucking around with these wellies i just want to get a pair now that i can stick with let's hope that these are okay all right cheers guys hat on i'm cold my feet aren't oh. let's go back to work